What would it mean to you to be able to play at your best when it counts? To be able to show up at your A game on demand? Rather than overthinking, overreacting, and getting overwhelmed, getting into that stress state, that fight or flight response. Look at it this way, imagine lying in your deathbed looking back, hopefully at a ripe old age. What would you rather be saying? I got by, I survived, at best. That's a mediocre existence, nobody wants that. You would rather be lying on your deathbed looking back saying, I played at my best when it counted. I live my full self-expression and a playful expression of that. When we're faced with an activity event or a challenge, the first game changer is look at this as a turning point, okay, a switch point. Because whether it's an activity event or a challenge, if we overthink it, if we overreact, or we allow ourselves to get overwhelmed, basically getting in our own way, this prefrontal cortex, this commenting, latching, labeling, striving, this activates the stress center, the amygdala. And what happens is it's a very definitive change in functionality. The body throws that big switch and it says, right, this is an emergency mode. What happens then is your neurons, the emphasis goes from your neurons, goes into your muscles, you might sometimes feel that blood draining from your brain. That gives you a degraded mode of intelligence straight away. Your heart rate speeds up, your breathing quickens, your digestive system, absorption system, and the elimination system all stop working for a period. Because your body's saying, this is war, this is an emergency. We'll come back to you later on. But we all know, in today's environment, we are stimulated into the stress response all too often. From the moment we get up, turning on the news, hear things that we can't do anything about, sitting in traffic, sitting behind a desk, watching the piling to-do lists and all the distractions around us, peer pressure, career pressure, relationship issues, health concerns, worrying about those bills, there's so much processing going on, so much of this prefrontal cortex activity, this inner chatter. It's like an inner hack, and it's just commenting on everything it sees, it's judging everything, it's self-referencing everything back to you. But that cuts off productivity, creativity, and performance. That's the, what we classify as the incoherence route. It's a chaotic style of living, it's very anxious, it's just, unsustainable because eventually it will lead to ill health it leads to inflammation of cells it leads to chronic illnesses and diseases it's so well documented so what's the alternative well as we say look at it as a turning point that's the first game changer so rather than overthinking overreacting and getting overwhelmed we get back to our calm state of awareness our natural coherent self when we're born we're born into this calm state of awareness and we're like sponges we're absorbing everything around us because at that point, the prefrontal cortex, the conscious mind, is not dominant. But then due to conditioning by the stimuli around us, we start to set, reference everything back to ourselves and this prefrontal cortex gets very active. But when we're in the flow state, research tells us, according to MRI technology, that this prefrontal cortex, this prefrontal lobe here, is very inactive. There's not much lighting up in there. So it's about getting out of your own way. When we say getting out of your own way, it's preventing this prefrontal cortex from dominating, from running the show, okay? It'll get in the way of everything. It's a great amount of performance, creativity, intelligence, and health. So here's a very quick technique. The Institute of Heart Math and States, after 25 years research and development, concluded that if you bring your awareness to the area around your heart by simply putting your hand on your chest, that gets you out of your headspace. And coupled that with a 10 second breathing cycle, breathing into your nose for five and out to your mouth for five, get you into this calm state of awareness, this coherent state, back to your natural coherent self, okay? So just give it a go, put your hand on your chest, bring in all your awareness to your hand resting on your chest to get out of your headspace, so you're not commenting, judging, latching, labeling, striving to be someone else, be something else, and have something else. Couple that with a 10 second breathing cycle, breathing into your nose, so five, one, two, three, four, five, and out to your mouth for five, one, two, three, four, Five and then again to your mouth for five. One, two, three, four, five and out to your mouth for five. One, two, three, four, five. Just keep that going, you've set the rhythm, and I'll explain to you what's happening. Your body's going to start releasing a biochemical called DHEA, more commonly known as the vitality hormone. And this gets a coherent heart rhythm, coherent communication between the heart, the brain, and the nervous system including the immune system, hormonal, digestive and respiratory systems. The bottom line and the takeaway here is with this simple technique you're doing now, we'll get you back to a calm state of awareness, 
it'll get your body synchronized like fine tuning your your body's functionality it becomes one entity one unit so it's not fighting against itself as a result you get a whole body energetic efficiency and you also get a whole body intelligence because this prefrontal cortex is not dominant because your awareness is on your hand and your chest you also get an efficient communication between the neurons around the body it's not just neurons in the, in the brain there's neurons in the heart the gut groups them around the body called ganglion and some in the spine area okay so it gets them all working together gets them all communicating efficiently and this is an enhanced mode of performance an enhanced mode of productivity enhanced mode of creativity and with simple triggers you can get yourself into the flow state okay and the simplest trigger is an achievement trigger do something quick off your to-do list and once you achieve that you get hit of dopamine and the, the floodgates open your body releases more dopamine and it's self-perpetuating okay so that's just a simple coherence technique a simple trigger an achievement trigger to get you into the flow state and what happens is your heart rate slows down to a nice steady 55 60 beats per minute your brain wave slows down from that high beta Okay, when you're in that co incoherent chaotic state into a slow alpha brainwave range okay you might have heard of that and when you trigger the flow state you get into the sweet spot in between alpha and theta okay which is a nice steady relaxed beat and your body is like fine-tuned it's fine-tuned with what's going on inside you it's fine-tuned with what's going on around you and you're in the perfect state of flow or as the ancient martial artists would call it motion mind no mind a perfect state of flow a mind like water so it's all about flowing like water flow with the activity flow with the event flow with the challenge this as opposed to getting overwhelmed getting into that degraded mode of performance and trying to solve problems and trying to perform at your best when it counts it just doesn't work even if you happen to go down that incoherent route that degraded mode of performance you can always reverse it you can reverse back out of there to that turning point and go down the coherent route the enhanced mode route by doing the technique you're doing at the moment because the vitality hormone eliminates and eradicates the stress hormone cortisol the one that does the damage hangs around your body for 13 hours and so forth creating absolute chaos for at least 90 minutes this vitality hormone will eliminate and eradicate it so even if you do happen to get into that degraded mode performance go somewhere quiet put your hand in your chest breathe into your nose for five and out to your mouth for five getting your awareness on your hand and your resting on your chest get you out of your head space and get you out of your own way basically okay the more you do this it becomes the way you show up there's a thing called neuroplasticity it's simply the brain's ability to restructure itself based on repetition 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 okay learning how to drive a car is the simplest way of explaining it when you start off first there's a lot of concentration there's a lot of prefrontal cortex activity there's a lot of focused vision and there's a lot to remember the more you repeat the activities and the more you repeat the, the whole driving process it starts to become more automatic if you apply that principle to this simple technique getting back to this calm state of awareness and with simple achievement triggers getting into the flow state the more you do that it becomes the way you show up so you can play at your best when it counts and if you continue that over the years by the time you get to your deathbed hopefully at a ripe old age you can look back and say i played at my best if any of this resonates with you, if you go to our website www.flowbuoyancy.com, there's a free eight week program there and it's eight weeks because of neuroplasticity. If you try and implement this into your life, it might resonate for a couple of weeks, then after about week three and week four, you start to go back to the old routines. So you've got to keep it going, even if you just keep this coherence technique going, it's resetting yourself. So give this a go, practice this with any activity that you're not precious about so you can get used to accepting the outcome. It's all about staying out of your own way, not commenting, labeling, just striving, and not monitoring what you're doing. It's about going with the flow of the activity, event, or challenge. You don't allow your mind to be taken or distracted, and don't focus on any other thing that needs to be done afterwards, or something that went wrong previously. Just focus on the activity with this calm state of awareness, with simple achievement triggers, the dopamine triggers, and couple that with resetting yourself whenever you start to feel tired, fatigued overwhelmed before you get stressed do this reset even if you do get stressed do the reset okay i'm tony vaughn it's been an absolute pleasure take care